You already know what it is. Lethal Town 24 die bombing at you with some Eagles content. Now, uh, I just wanted to go over a couple things. First things first, uh, D Biggie 86. A shout out to him. Uh, he did a video on breast cancer awareness. He is an Eagles content creator and he's also one of my subscribers. So, I mean, shout out to him and uh, go check out his stuff. He's got some pretty good stuff. And, um, you know, just make sure you check him out. Is, um, he's very knowledgeable about the Eagles as well. So that's just another content creator you guys can latch on to as well. Now, um, in Eagles news, uh, we did sign a quarterback to the practice squad. Not that much of a biggie, but they got a body, so that's that. Now, I wanted to go over um, Jeremy Macklin's retirement. Now, I loved jeremy macklin when he was with the eagles i think that um you know he's a dynamic receiver i know he's a dy he's been he's proven that he's a dynamic receiver and so i mean unfortunately his injuries just took a toll whenever your body goes out like it is his, his hamstring his knees or whatnot you know he, he knew when it was time to go uh, i actually met his i believe it was his aunt and um you know she even talked about that and was talking about um you know the things he was going through and i told her i was like i have a macklin jersey macklin was one of my favorite players on the uh, on the eagles in the andy reed era uh towards the end so i mean like you know i was whoo i was excited you know and uh but you know my heart went out to him because i mean just seeing what he did with the eagles and um the the playmaker he was i mean with him and Deshaun Jackson on the other side of the field, man, we were, I mean, it's like, I believe what um, Deshaun Jackson, even Michael Vick has said, I mean, that was the dream team without anybody saying it, that was the dream team, you know, and, um, you know, just a couple games that come to my mind was the, the 20, uh, 2010 game against the Giants, where we made that huge comeback, Michael Vick made some plays, Brent Sellett made some plays, but um, one play in particular that Michael Vick made to uh, a play to um, Jeremy Macklin, uh, it, I believe it was a hitch route or a comeback route, and um, you know Vick threw it. It was sharp. It was clean, and Macklin caught it. And the the cornerback went to um, went to go to tackle him, and I mean Macklin just put on a move that just took him out of his socks. And broke his ankles man and um he just completely fooled him and touched down you know and you know the jazz game where he um or even uh with yeah it was with nick Foles when he threw that deep bomb to jeremy macklin jeremy macklin caught it i mean the game in the washington game uh with michael vick i believe it was the first game of the year and um when michael vick was throwing bombs to Deshaun jackson one of those bombs was to jeremy macklin jeremy macklin made a catch i mean I mean, the way he broke in and out of his routes and, um, you know, his his play, his demeanor, it was, you know, you would think that he's just kind of soft-spoken, but on that field, man, like whenever he scored a touchdown, you know, he just had that quiet anger. And when you have that and, you know, you knew he was nasty. You knew he was nasty. So, I mean, just, you know, I just appreciate what he did with the Eagles. I, like I said, I have a Jeremy Macklin jersey, and he was just one of my favorite players on the team at that time. So, you know, I'll be wearing that jersey uh, on Sunday in honor of him, you know, when we go against the Jets. But um, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Um, my last message is, like, if you have anybody that is going through breast cancer or, or sorry, anybody of your family members or someone you know that's going through breast cancer or any kind of cancer, you know, that's always a battle. It's mental, it's physical, it's very draining. It's not, um, you know, that's not something to take lightly, you know? Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a rough battle. It's a, you have to be, um, you know, you have to be all in. And sometimes, you know, when when you are all in, you don't come out on the, you don't come out on the other side you know a lot of people have lost their family members to cancer some form of cancer but you know for women and everything um that they go through 
and then with cancer on top of it, it's hard, you know? So shout out to anybody's family member, anybody's friend, or anybody in general that, that's um, had to, you know, deal with cancer or breast cancer. You know? So that's all I wanted to say. And, um, you know, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you if you feeling you know if you feeling friendly <laughs> um but yeah you know i would love to hear from you guys and uh what you think on jeremy macklin's retirement um until then e-a-g-l-e-s eagles and that's what's up <laughs>